everyone. My name is Libby and I am a reformed Democrat. Now don't get me wrong, I am not prepared at this moment to say that I am a conservative. I prefer to think of myself somewhere in the middle. This has been um, a rather traumatic journey, I think, and I say that lightly because uh, I'm sure other people have had different experiences, but my walk away moment has been happening probably since Trump was elected. My husband and I uh, have always been Democrats, I've always voted Democrat, straight down the ticket. Admittedly, I don't think that I have been as informed uh, as I should have been in the past. Going into the primaries of the most recent election, my husband and I were Bernie supporters. And after what happened uh, with Bernie and you know, just the more that came out about Clinton, we just couldn't support her. Now, my husband's journey took off a little bit further than mine did. He is a Navy veteran. Um, I would consider him a progressive uh, in, in most circles and in most of his ideals. Um, he has always been um, serious about social justice and social equality, um, but he's also very concerned about our economy, immigration, you know, those types of policies. And he is now a full-blown Trump supporter. So if I can take a step back, because this is what has been traumatic for me. Going from staunch Democrats to my husband now being a registered Republican and a Trump supporter, um, it doesn't bother me. What bothers me is the hate and vitriol and the just the, the stupid name calling, the friends and family that I've lost. Um, a constant barrage of that all over social media. You know, people assuming that I have married a hateful, homophobic, racist, misogynist is life altering. It's hurtful and um, that has been the biggest catalyst for my walk away moment. Like I said, I, I, I don't feel comfortable calling myself a conservative. I have not changed my party. I am still a registered Democrat. And I think that we have to be careful with, um, you know, making a distinction between liberalism and being a Democrat. Because I feel like where things have really fallen apart is in the Democratic Party, not in liberalism. I still believe in those ideals. Um, so I, I think it's important to make that distinction. And while I'm not comfortable calling myself a conservative, I am comfortable calling myself a liberal because I feel like I am a liberal, but I do not feel part of the Democratic Party any longer. And it's a shame. I feel like I don't belong anywhere. I feel like I'm afraid to um, you know, voice any opinions that are against or at least not aligned with mainstream Democrats. And I don't like living in fear. It's no way to live. It's no way to live. And, and I have to be honest when I just say that my world has been flipped upside down over this, over this hate. I, my eyes are opened to just how fair weathered the people in my life really are. And that's a sad, sad moment. Very sad. Anyway. I really appreciate this movement because, you know, I don't know that I belong 100% because I do still identify as a liberal and I'm not a conservative, but I really appreciate, 
you know, the idea that it's okay, um, you know, to to walk away and, and that there is a group of people that, you know, have gone through the same things that I have. And so I appreciate the, um, the support in that regard. So keep up the good fight and uh, who knows? Who knows what the future will hold, but I, I really hope that, um, you know, more people can find this outlet and can feel comfortable, um, you know, not being part of the status quo.